Hello guys, today we are going to learn about a very important topic that is cardiac cycle. What is a cardiac cycle? Actually a cardiac cycle is a time period which starts from the contraction of arteria and ends at the relaxation of ventricular. Now, two terms are very important in the cardiac cycle which I am going to use throughout the video. This is systole and the diastole. Systole is the contraction phase and diastole is relaxation phase of the chamber learn again systole contraction diastole the relaxation phase cardiac cycle contain six phases the joint diastole diastole means relaxation joint diastole means when all the chambers are in relaxed phase arterial systole when arteria is in contraction phase ventricular systole when ventricular starts with the contraction phase Complete ventricular systole when ventricles are in fully contraction phase. Beginning of ventricular diastole. Just after the systole phase, ventricles come into the relaxation phase, which is called as beginning of ventricular phase. When complete ventricular diastole, when chambers or ventricles are fully relaxed phase. Let's start with the joint diastole phase. As we have talked, Joint diastole is the phase when all the chambers are in relaxed state. As all the chambers, arteria, ventricle are in relaxed phase, they get filled with the blood. Arteria get filled with the blood from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Left arteria get filled with the pulmonary veins, four pulmonary veins, two from the left side and two from the right side. Both the ventricles also get filled with blood to their respective arterias as the tricuspid and bicuspid walls are open here are the you can see tricuspid and bicuspid walls are open so that there is a normal flow of blood from the arteria to the ventricle now arterial systole means the contraction phase of arteria at the time of joint diastole 70 to 80 percent blood will go from arteria to the ventricle only 20 to 30 percent will remain in the arteria. To pump out this blood, arteria have to apply some force. This contraction is done by the contraction phase of the arteria which is known as arterial systole. As SNO transfer its impulses, initiate its impulses, the contraction phase in the arteria occur. Now you can see here stimulation of SNO occurs here which contract the arteria. Both arteria contracts to pump its 20 to 30 percent of blood blood is forced into the ventricles as tricuspid and bicuspid walls are open next one will be the as arteria now in relaxed phase the contraction will pass to the ventricular ventriculars that is why this phase is called as ventricular systole or the phase of ventricular contraction in the ventricular contraction the impulse from SA node will transfer to the AV node so which further passes it to the Purkinje fiber and his bundle of his which start the contraction in the ventricles. As the pressure start or increase in the ventricular both tricuspid and bicuspid walls get closed so that there is no backflow of the blood. As these walls get closed there is a sound which will be the sound it's love. We know that our heart produces two sound, love and dub. First sound which is love is produced at the time of closing of tricuspid and bicuspid valve. Now, ventricles start applying forces but still force is not sufficient to open the semilunar walls. Now, as the ventricular compression starts, the blood will flow the semilunar walls get open and blood from ventricles will go to their respective part from right ventricle to the pulmonary aorta and to the left part through aortic arch. Now semilunar walls are open, the ventricular are in complete contraction phase, blood flows from ventricles to the pulmonary aorta and aortic arch. Now beginning of ventricular diastole. Now after complete circulation of blood or pass of blood from the ventricles, now ventricles are in relaxation phase. 
Now, just now, the as the ventricular relaxation starts, the semilunar walls get closed so that there is no backflow of the blood from the pulmonary aorta and aortic arch. This produces a sound called as dub. First sound is produced at the time of closing of wall, which walls the tricuspid and bicuspid wall, and the second sound produced at the time of closing of wall, which wall semilunar wall. Now it makes the ventricular diastole, ventricles relax, semilunar walls get closed, produces second heart sound that is dub. Now, now as ventricles are fully relaxed, now we know semilunar walls are closed. Meantime, the tricuspid and bicuspid walls are open to make sure that there is a flow of blood from arteria to their respective ventricles and then joint diastole occur in which all the chambers are again filling with the blood. This is our cardiac cycle which is of 0.8 second. Here you can see the systematic flow of the blood throughout the cardiac cycle. Thank you.